everyone it's Caroline here from Aussie Cards and Crafts I'd like to thank you for joining me today um, today I don't have a card to actually show you I'm going to be making a card but because uh, this is my first attempt at this particular style of card I don't have one to show you but it's called a spanner panel card um, and as it comes together you will actually see it you would have seen it on the um, the picture at the front of the uh, tutorial today but uh, as I say at this stage I'm sorry I, I actually don't have one to show you so a few things that I've used I used all of my papers and um, sentiments and everything from the Daisy May design which is the paper craft society box 12 which I believe was last year's one um, I'm fairly certain it would have been last year's it might have been the year before but I think it was last year's one and this is actually designed by Claire Rollins and it's a beautiful if you don't if you've never seen these before I get them out of the UK they send them to me once a month um, you get some beautiful um, stamps you also get uh, the corresponding dies and you get some lovely papers and, and other embellishments that you can use. The embellishments, I think, have gone into a, a different section because they don't sit well in here. But I do keep everything here. And, of course, you get an inspiration book as well, which gives you a lot of, of ideas that you can actually uh, utilise this pack from. They come once a month, and they are absolutely fantastic. So pretty much everything that I have, I'm using today has actually come from this pack. Um, I've used it a few times and I absolutely, I really, really, really love it. So thank you, Claire Rollins, for a very inspirational um, package that you put together there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, as I said, make it what we call a spanner card. Now, you'll see that I've got quite a few bits and pieces here that I've already cut out. Don't worry, all of your measurements will be on um, the drop-down menu at the bottom. Um, you'll see I've done quite a few of the Christmas wishes and Happy Christmas. Um, I don't know what colour or what size I need at the moment because I'm basically designing this as I go. I have actually utilised um, the stamps in there and the die cuts in there to do quite a few little bits and pieces. Now I'm not certain whether I'm going to be using all of them yet. Or whether I'm going to be using some of them. The way I've coloured these in, um, this is why I've got this here. I use the Derwent um, watercolour pencils. I love the watercolour pencils, I really do. Um, it took me a while to get used to them, but they really do give a different uh, a different look when you when you see like my my fountain there or my, my bird bath there. Anyway, I'll pop those aside. Um, let's get into the card. I'll put these all, uh, all aside for later. They were all coloured with the uh, watercolour pencils, by the way. So I'll leave that up there too because they don't have a specific size. So your base card is actually going to be 12 inches. Okay, so 12 inches by 6 inches. So it's a 6 by 6 card that you're doing. Now along your 12 inch side and with this particular one if you fold that over or turn it over you've got a nice solid edge there that you can actually uh, utilise if you're doing some scoring. I'll do it this way. So um, if you score that at 6 inches you then fold it in half and make sure you burnish that really really well you will burnish it again later but please make sure you burnish it and now it looks like we've got all these little bit sorry no we haven't cut those yet have we okay along there what I'd like you to do is get your ruler and using a pencil I would like you to mark one and a half inches in from both sides okay so there's one and a half inches there and one and a half inches at the top as well so we've got one and a half and then we've got one and a half there so these pieces here are actually one and a half now you can use either a blade or your cutting board I actually use my cutting board um, I found it easier to use my cutting board turn that over once again so you've got your cuts now you've got your marks on here now because you can see through this bit here it really makes it very very easy line your card up 
so that it is flush against that top making sure that you have got your little dot that you've made at the top just there what you then need to do is you will see that you have got a little marker here on your cutting tool and you make sure that that is right on that score that score line that uh, at six inches you make sure it is right on there and then you press it up and you cut it and that's how it comes out to do the other one I moved mine across I did exactly the same thing you've got another um, hard edge there and you've got your hard edge there make sure you've got your your dot your little mark up the top there in the right place bring this down using that guide and bring it down right on that score line and then bring it up and now we've got to the stage that I was before and you can see we've got all of these flip flap flops so the other sizes that you need you will need a piece of acetate you probably can't see that but you'll need a piece of acetate and your acetate is going to be one and a quarter inches by five and seven eighths so it is a fraction shorter than this because where this acetate is going to go is there and there and it will go right down to the bottom and I don't want it poking out the side so if there's any little um, discrepancy with your cutting it's not going to poke out the side so that's the size of that uh, five and seven eighths by one and a quarter you also will need some panels now we we need to cover the front panel the side panels and also we need to do the center and the side panels in here so what I have chosen and once again this is by the same um, from the same box that box the paper craft society box 12 I have decided that I'm going to use this one here for the front and these two here for the side on the front okay now the size of this one here and you'll need two of these but in corresponding colors um, is two and three quarters by five and three quarters so you'll need two I've got one in that color and one in that color with your side panels you will need four of these but you'll need two of each so you're going to go one and a quarter inch by five and three quarter inches and you'll have two of those for your front just there and then you'll have um, another there they are there you'll have another two for your side and I'm going to pop that on the inside added to that I have also cut and stamped a happy Christmas uh, sentiment on this and this particular piece is going to go in the center and you'll see it in a moment um, so sorry this piece is going to be um, two and a half inches by five and a half inches okay and that's I have pre-stamped that entirely up to you what you want to put on there obviously so that will then go on there on the inside so very simple to put together um, once you've got your measurements correct uh, I've seen a lot of these online um, but these this one's just slightly different with the decoration that I'm doing so I thought I would like to show you today and uh, okay let's go so we've got this we've folded that over we've we've cut those so we, we now have the bases of our card what we now need to do is we now need to stick down our our pieces so we need one there another one there the corresponding one there and then on the inside we are going to go or I am going to go the opposite now when you're popping this down make sure that it does have a nice even border from top and bottom and make sure that it is in between those because when you lift this up you're going to see that and of course you're going to pop that one on the top there along the sides once again with those nice even borders and making sure that your top is absolutely lined up perfectly okay there's nothing worse than seeing it not lined up so even with this one 
even though we're going to be sticking things on this please make sure that as much as you possibly can you can get your top levels lined up okay now i'm going to go ahead and do those now and i'm going to speed the the video up while i do it so that you don't have to watch me okay so there we go now we've got as you can see we've got the two corresponding uh, pieces there we have our centerpiece if we fold that up we now have the merry christmas or happy christmas sorry and then we have the um the opposite on the side ones okay so now what we need to do is we need now to stop these from flapping around and the way we do that is we need to put a piece of acetate underneath these two pieces okay now you'll see i'm hoping you can see being acetate is a bit difficult but you'll see that that is slightly shorter than the six inches in the width so that's why i've suggested that you make that a five and three quarter inch so now what we need to do is we need to put some tape on the ends of here um, i'm going to use red tape uh, i just think that uh, well i know that it's a lot stronger I tend to put my tape on my card itself and you must remember that when you're going when you're doing this you can't go higher than one and a quarter inches okay because if I just put a little mark there that is the same width as our acetate is okay so it can't go above that any tape otherwise it won't work so if you want to put a mark on both sides it's probably easier then you know where you're going to be putting either oh it wouldn't be glue for acetate um there we go one and a quarter so i'm just going to put three little pieces on each side here okay so as you can see i've got all my tape there i'm now going to bring my little piece of acetate in and i want it to this this edge just here to line up absolutely at the bottom there so I'm just holding it down with the rest of my hand hoping they're clean um, and just popping it down to make sure that there is nothing visible there we go now what happens is you can see that when you stand it up that gets pushed to the front and you'll find that that doesn't it's not floppy anymore the fun part now is the decoration. Um, and I've, when I was designing this, I thought long and hard about it. But what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that any decoration that goes on, um, it attaches to either only the back or the front pieces only. You can't have them across there because otherwise you would not be able to lift that up and then lift that up. And that's the whole mechanism of the card so just bear with me for a little while i'm going to speed it up while i do some um i guess some design work on this because i i'm really not sure exactly what i'm going to do yet but i'll um i'll come back to you in a moment okay so this could actually be stuck down to here um which i might do now uh just so it's not sticking up and it, it's quite all right to do that because it's all on the same piece 
So let's stick that down like so. And that is my design. Now, as you can see, oops, some plastic on my little birdie. As you can see, don't you hate this stuff? It does not come off your fingers. As you can see, you a lot of the um, decorations I've gone over the side. Very, very simple. Just cut them off. Okay, so you turn it over the other way and always turn it the other way when you're doing it. Um, and cut along the edges. And then there's another one there. And another one just here at the side of the bird bath, I think. There we go. So how much? Oh, I forgot about the tree. Okay, so the tree, we will cut him off just there. And as you can see, I only just bought a little bit of the tree in because it was just too big otherwise. I'll keep that because that will go into my stash there for other cards. Now what I need to do is I need to decide where and which I want my, my Christmas wishes. I think I need this one because I think that fits better. And I would like some border around it of that. So I'm just going to go back to my, my scrap pieces from my design folder. And this is where I'm just going to pop that to, to one side. Bring in my cutting board. And this is the one I've decided to do. So I'm going to cut that down to size. So there is our corresponding greeting and it could go down there, which I think would look quite nice, or it could go up there. No, I think down here. I think one strip of this, the red tape along the bottom of this greeting, so that's along this just here, is going to suffice. And I'm going to pop it onto the acetate. If I can find the edge. There it is. There we go and there is our spanner card okay so you've got a beautiful little oh one thing I will do and I'll do that in just a sec is I'm going to put some more snow around here okay so I've got the snow on the branch and I've got the snow on my, my um, lantern I've got the snow around the top of my uh, bird bath there I'm just going to actually use some um, this is a I don't know how old it is Stempendous. Uh, it's an ultra fine uh, crystal glitter that to me just resembles snow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little glue, my trusty little glue thing here. Now, don't forget when you're doing things like this, it's only really around the where the where the snow might fall. So, I'm going to pop some there. I'm going to put it all on the tops of these pine cones. And there we have it. There is our Christmas scene. Um, it's a spanner card, so you can see that as it as it sits like that, it's it looks just like a card. But then when you open it, the magic happens in the fact that you've got. Oh, I'll tell you what I have done. Oh no, that's right. There we go. And then you've got that inside 
and you've got your happy Christmas and you've got plenty of room to write your message there. I really like it. I hope you like it. Um, if you have liked it, please give me a thumbs up underneath and maybe subscribe to my channel because that would be really good. Um, please, if you want to give it a try, do so and maybe pop it up on our Facebook page, which is Aussie Cards and Crafts um, Facebook page. If you're not a member, please put in a request and we'd be more than happy to uh, to accept you. Um, I've loved doing this for you today. I really like the card. Um, there's another one in here that I'm, I'm thinking of a different one to do. Uh, this one's got a, a letterbox and I'm, I'm wanting to use that letterbox, I think, with the uh, special delivery 25th of December. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use that yet, but I'm sure that the bird will feature, maybe a couple of the birds and maybe that branch as well, because I really do like it. I think it's a beautiful set. Thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Um, on the Aussie Cards and Crafts YouTube channel. Thank you and goodbye. Hi everyone, this is a bit of an add-on from where I left you just a little while ago because when I came to edit this and put it up on online, I really thought that it needed something on this part here. So I did die cut some more uh, pine cones so that you can see them through the acetate there. And I did use that last part of the branch just coming in there and I think it just takes the plainness off of the card I can't quite close it down yet because that's still wet but mm. I think that that gives it more dimension and yeah I'm really really happy with that so I hope you've enjoyed it um, and I'll see you again soon thank you